Hi, Charlie.、Uh, my name is Yang Li. I'm an investor from New York. Thank you so much for this great platform to learn from you and、uh, sharing your wisdom.、Uh, my question is about、uh, your outlook for global market and、uh, economy, especially given the slowdown in global econ economy driven by Chinese economy and also the rise in geopolitical risk. So, what's your take on market and economy going forward? Thank you. Well, I am mildly optimistic about China for a variety of reasons. Nobody has ever taken a big nation ahead as fast as China has come ahead, and I think they've done a lot, lot right. So I'm, I, I'm a big admirer of, of what's happened there. If you stop to think about it, they were in a Malthusian trap, and they prevented five hundred thousand babies from being born. They did it by methods that we wouldn't like in the United States, but I think they were doing the world a favor, and I think that what they did was admirable. So, basically, I, I don't have this hostility toward China. I really admire what the Chinese people have achieved, and I think, considering that they started as communists, their leaders are pretty good, and. It's amazing. Imagine a communist country creating this enormous period of growth and prosperity, and lifting 800 million people out of poverty. And、oh, I, I like what's happening in China, and I think the United States ought to get along with China, and China ought to get along with the United States. And regarding the The global situation—it's so peculiar to have negative interest rates. And one other thing I greatly admire is—and this will strike you as very、really、peculiar—there's one modern nation which has had like 25 years of stasis. How can anybody admire 25 years of stasis? Well, I think the Japanese have handled 25 years of stasis with magnificent. Skill and philosophy. Japan is not going to hell. They don't like 25 years of stasis, but they take it like men, and they aren't bitching and wailing, and they don't act like victims. And, and so, I really admire the way the Japanese have handled their adversity. And I don't think the adversity came from a lot of mistakes. I think the adversity to Japan—they were an export powerhouse, and up came China and Korea. Of course, they had some troubles. We'd all have troubles if we had way tougher competition, and so I think that's my. I don't. I don't think Japan's stasis was Japan's fault. I think it just happened, and I think they bear up in it magnificently well and are to be greatly admired. And of course, they got into this defect-free、uh, manufacturing ethos. In a big way, and led the world in it. So, I think the United States has a lot to learn from Asians. Think of how everything's clean in Japan. You don't see any homeless sleeping in the defecating in the street either. Oh, I think there's a lot to be said for Japan.